Welcome to the support video for workload automation video series. This video will show you how to disable Control M agent from being automatically discovered on Control M server. Start Control M server version at Fixed Factory or higher. It has added ability to disable the Control M agent automatic discovery feature. The Control M agent automatic discovery is to minimize the need for the Control M administrator to add the new agent in advance before the scheduler define a job with a new agent's name. Once the job with the new agent's name runs, the Control M server will try to communicate to the new agent to submit the job. For the environment where this functionality is not desired, Control M server now provide the ability to disable the control M agent automatic discovery. This feature is enabled by setting the configuration parameter host underscore auto discover to N through the control M configuration manager or CCM. Once configured, if a job is using unfamiliar host to control M server, it won't be automatically discovered and it disable the new Control M agent automatic discovery feature. In another word, the new Control M agent only can be added manually through the CCM or CDM ping utility. Control M server now provide ability to disable the Control M agent automatic discovery. This feature is enabled by setting the configuration parameter host underscore auto discover through the Control M configuration manager or CCM. The default value is set to Y. When it's Y, it enables the Control M agent auto discovery. When it's set to N, it disables the Control M agent auto discovery and force the Control M agent to be added manually. This is a demonstration to disable Control M agent automatic discovery feature from CCM. First, right click the Control M server and select system parameter under the scheduling and execution category select the host underscore auto discover and change the value from y to n the default value is y and then click save and we notice that the refresh start is manual, meaning that we need to restart the Control M server. Click Activate Changes and select Yes. And close. Now, we need to go to the services. First, we need to shut down the configuration agent. Stop the configuration agent. Stop the control M server. Click OK. Start up the control M server again. And then we need to start up the control M server configuration agent. Click close. The changes should take effect by now. Thank you, and that concludes this Control M solution video. Please see our knowledge base and the YouTube channel for more videos like this.